Well, here you go. Is this okay? Yes, this is fine. Thank you. For your trouble. Why, well, thank you, sir. Well, I'm off. Heading north to the castle. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. It just may. Very well, sir. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Welcome to the town of Vauxville. I trust your travels were not too unpleasant? Just fine, thank you. Excellent, excellent. My name is Udo. I am a seller of rare and precious trinkets, as well as a great source of news for the town and all across the valley. You mean you're a gossip? Eh, call me what you may, as long as you call me friend. We'll see. Ah, gorgeous. I like that. Please come and see me anytime you need anything. Hey there, Udo. Well, hello there, friend. How can I help you today? Ah, the people's village. You'll not find a finer nor friendlier town around these parts. Everything's kept shipshape around here by all Rayford. He likes to keep things nice and orderly. And for your amusement, there's plenty of shops and sites to see. You can check out the inn, or maybe visit the general store. There's a tobacconist for all your exotic smoking and spice needs. Oh, and don't forget the magic shop. We've also got an apothecary, and there's an old graveyard on the edge of town. The inn is on the east part of town. It's a big old place. I think it was a giant mead hall in its former life. But over the years, it just settled into being an inn. You can get a reasonable room and some decent food there. The innkeeper's name is Kessel. Tell him Udo sent you. You'll get the Udo discount. Let me tell you, that Prospero is definitely one of those enigmatic characters. He's got a big, creepy house toward the south of town. The gargoyles out front give me the hippie-jeepies. But his knowledge and products are second to none. Good luck, sir. And remember, if you need anything, you come see Udo, all right? I'll take care of you. doesn't understand what you're saying. This guard is fat. You don't think he could chase off a pickpocket, let alone solve any real crimes. The door is locked. Good day, sir. Hello there. Yes, there's an execution taking place soon. I want to finish these shoes before I head down. Take care, stranger. You play around with it. You rub your hands all over yourself like a showgirl. You think about an alternative career, should the need arise. It's a door. It can open, 
and clothes. Pretty neat tricky. What a quaint and lovely place. You actually bet the rooms and beds are nice here, for a change. Hello there, stranger. Hello there, innkeeper. Castle's my name. This, as you may have guessed, is my inn. Lovely. Love the view. I do my best, and I promise the rooms are cosy. Excellent. I assume you'd be wanting lodging, considering the bridge to the north is all washed out for the moment. Yes, I suppose I'll be staying in town for a bit. Well, if I beg your pardon, we're getting ready for the execution. If you be wanting a room, come by afterwards and we can do business. Sounds good. It doesn't understand what... It doesn't... She's busy working. Talk to her some other time. Well, hello, young fellow. How are you? I'm above ground. It's a start. Indeed. Can I help you? So, you want to know about skills? That's a pretty exciting topic, so I'm glad you asked. You can check out your skills on your character sheet, which is located in the shield icon on the pull-down menu. The left side of your character sheet contains all your combat skills, and you can learn more about them by asking me how to fight. On the right side are the skills I'll talk about here. These are environmental skills and are useful for all sorts of things. Climbing is self-explanatory, I suppose. Or at least it should be. If you can't grasp what climbing is, you're probably about to die quite often in this game. Stealth is your ability to sneak around and not be heard. You raise this by simply sneaking around, although non-rogue classes can't raise the statistic above 50. Thievery is your ability to steal shit or to pick locks. The more you pick those locks, or steal, the better at it you become. Again though, only rogues can raise this above 50. Mystical power is the statistic that sorcerers care most about. This raises with every spell. All the statistics rise on a sliding scale, so at first it might only take a couple of attempts to raise your skill level. But as your skills become higher, you'll need to undertake a lot more attempts to get it to rise higher again. Finally, there's Infamy. The more you undertake tasks in this game, the more Infamy you gain. This is very important later in the game, because if you've gained enough Infamy, you'll get more help in your final tasks. I hope that was some help. If you need to know about combat or the creatures around these parts, feel free to ask. Well, it was nice talking with you. Come back if you need any kind of help. You should probably leave him alone until after the execution. It doesn't talk back.
good day, sir. Yes, it certainly is. I would stay in chat, but I must be going. We've got so much happening today. Rayford wanted me to go get something, but I can't remember. We so rarely have public executions. You are coming to the public square, right? Of course, friend. Wouldn't miss this. Excellent. See you there. May crime always cower in the light. Indeed. Well, this should be an interesting day. Uh, I should make my way to the public square, eventually. Creepy old house stares back at you, dark, ominous, foreboding, your kind of place. By the sigil on the door, you deduce that it is a magic shop. Can't be too bad, it has a pair of awesome gargoyles out front. in some way. How insightful. Allow me to quote that in my book of who cares. Ah. Now, young man, is there something I might help you with? My name? Well, you may call me Prospero. I make it most of the town calls me Mr. Magic. It amuses them. Magic? Well, that's quite a discussion. Perhaps we can converse about it when we have more time. There's an execution coming soon, and we'd better not be late. Rayford gets into quiet a tizzy about these things. My name? Well, you may call me Prospero. I make it most of the town calls me Mr. Magic. It amuses them. My name? Well, you may call me Prospero. I make it most of the town calls me Mr. Magic. It amuses them. Goodbye. like they're getting ready for the execution. But it's not quite time yet. I suggest you explore more of the town. You should probably also talk to more people. That's what I would do. But I'm not you. Sadly, I'm just a disembodied voice. The blade looks sharp and mean. Man, you don't want to end up under it.
Hello, sir. I'm Bert, and these are my apples. Can I interest you in anything? One bligh for an apple. It doesn't understand. Hello, sir. I... You have nothing. Good afternoon, sir. Boy, you must be tired. No, I haven't been running through your mind all day. I, uh, uh... <laughs> stutter away, stutter boy. Ah, uh, boo. Well. Whew. Smooth move, x -Lax. Hello, sir. I am Dr. Frank. Doctor, friend, storyteller, and all around good guy. Good to know. You're just like an angry mage. <laughs> no, no, I just bought these robes in the last city I visited. A grubo. It's a great city. A messing culture. And now you're here? Oh yes, I'm traveling north, but, you know, bridge out, so I'm staying here. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Take it easy. Oh yes, I will. Thanks. He's a squirrely looking fella who appears to be running some kind of game. You clutch your purse just a little tighter. They're too busy with their- Whoa, boys. We better stop here for now. Rayford's got an execution going on soon. Don't worry, we'll be back later if you're game for some action. Shouting, I lost control of my voice in a freak accident, and now I always talk like this. That's unfortunate, sir. Well, could be worse. Rayford stations me here so I don't talk to a lot of people. Good call. I agree. Well, I'm going to continue standing guard. You have a great day, sir. Good to know. <laughs> and now you're here? Oh yes, I'm traveling north, but you know, bridge out, so I'm staying here. Sounds like fun. Take it easy. Oh yes, I will. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you want? Oh, and welcome to Matthew's Meat Hunt. Our meat beats your meat. They make me say that. Owen and Gwen, they're pretty funny. I, I hear them fighting every morning. He's some kind of wizard. I, I actually avoid him. He's kind of mean. Ah, that guy can talk, but he usually has good info. He's the local bully. What a nurse. What a place. People from all over stop in to do things. He's 
nothing exciting, but his daughter is pretty incredible. I'd love to talk to her someday, but every time I try, I almost poop my pants and I have to run away. What a place. People from all over stop in to do things. Yep. Hello, sir. I'm Burke, and these are my apples. Can I interest you in anything? One bligh for an apple. This is an interesting one. If I'm awake when they bury me, let me out. There's no point getting to know them now, they're all quite dead. Well, it wouldn't be a graveyard now if there wasn't some creepy cherub somewhere, would it? It seems they aren't up for chatting right now. Perhaps you should come back later. They're too busy. To... Sounds like a call to the execution. You'd probably better make your way back to town. This is where Volksville buries some of its dead. It is by the edict of the king and the laws of the land of the Valley of Krasna in the kingdom of Lonaria that here in the town of Volksville, I, J.S. Rayford, am here to carry out the sentence in the matter of the people versus the criminal, Marcus Van Houten, who has been proven guilty of theft and murder. Does the criminal have anything to say? Let me head roll. I defended myself and stole to feed my own starving body. If this is life, then my head is better served up fresh on a pole for all you people. Very well. Marcus Van Houten, you are sentenced to death by the automatic blade. May the next life be better than this. As long as I don't have to look at your filthy face, Rayford, your conscience is almost as filthy as my... Take his head, tar it, and put it on a pike outside town to warn others of our justice. His headless body to a crow's cage to be pecked clean. And thus it is for criminals here. I will not tolerate them in my jurisdiction. Do you understand? You are all witnesses here today. Rayford would like to see you in his office. Hello there. You're a visitor to our town, I take it. Why, well, yes, I am. Just a man in the beauty of the area. The river is quite the sight. Huh. Yes, it is, stranger. Yes, it is. Might I have the pleasure of your name? Yes, my name is Mr. Rome. Mr. William Rowan. Pleasure. J.S. Rayford. Town Magister. Pleasure. Well, I have some matters to attend to. Please stop by my office later. I'd love to chat with you some more. 
Sounds good. Good evening, little man. Good evening, Mr. Rome. What an asshole. Well, since it looks like I'll be here a while, I should try to make a friend or something. We've got a game going here, can't you see? My mistake. I saw three guys hunched over, and I assumed you were all staring at a snail. Staring at snails? Snails? I'm not even drunk yet. It's not snail staring time. Oh, well, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt your game of chance. Carry on. Whoa, 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 mister. You... Sure, what kind of action we got going? Craps, my good man, craps. The game of kings and paupers alike. Why? Because we all suffer from the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. And, well... We all poop, don't we? That's both sufficiently deep and disgusting. I aim to please. You aim too, please. You're delightfully droll. I'm surprised no one's punched you in the face yet. Who says they haven't? I didn't get this mug by avoiding all the fists to my face. Anyway, the game is craps. You know how to play? Alright then, lay your money down and get started. Something's fishy. If there's anything I know, it's cheating. Hey, hey! I'm an honest man.
A sword always makes a man more honest. Ah, no need for violence, my good man. I like your style. Thanks, I try. Hey, you think you might be able to help me out? I've got something, but, well, frankly, I don't have the stones to do it. Few men do. What do you need? Well, I need some blood from the beast that lives outside of town. I don't know what the hell that thing eats or why it works the way it does, but its blood is pure freaking magic. In my line of work, you need a little luck and some lubricant to get things done. Are you a gigolo or something? Ah, nothing so glamorous. You think the ladies are lining up to pay for a ride on this trolley? Jeez, mister, you think highly of me. Well, I assume we're talking about sleight of hand mastery. Is that a masturbation joke? Uh, you're funny. Sometimes you just have to. Ain't that the truth? So, can you help me? Sure, I'm willing to roll the dice on this one. Yes! Okay. The beast lives in the forest outside of town. Careful, he's dangerous. You're going to have to kill it. I need you to get some of its blood. Well, as much as you can get. Here, take this. It'll help you out if things get a bit sticky. Got it. Be the creature. Sounds like a splashing good time. And the healing potion, in case she's harder to kill than you told me. Thanks, man. I'll be here. Just meet me back here when you've got it. All right, I'll help you avoid the gates. Here's a little secret passage that I've been known to use from time to time. Boys, a little help, please? <laughs> 